Southwest Airlines Captain Tammy Jo Schultz and her co-pilot, First Officer Darren Ellisor, have been hailed as heroes after they successfully landed Flight 1380 from New York to Dallas in Philadelphia last month after an engine part disastrously blew up. It, that was in mid-flight, taking the life of one passenger. In an exclusive interview aboard the USS Intrepid, I talked with them about how their military backgrounds helped them stay calm during the in-flight emergency and how this wife and mother has successfully navigated her career. This has to take you back a little to your early careers of flying. Well, the gray paint is definitely familiar. <laughs> Growing up, watching the skies over Holloman Air Force Base in New Mexico, Tammy Jo Schultz knew she wanted to be part of the action. I had a clipping of a newspaper uh, that said, if you have your college degree, come join the Air Force. We need pilots. They said, if you have a brother, we'll talk to him. But we don't want to talk to you. Refusing to take no for an answer, she joined the Navy and became one of the first F-18 fighter pilots. Her accomplishment captured in this old news story. I joined the military because I wanted to be a warrior and uh, getting to fly what we've been trained to fly would be great. But back then, women weren't allowed to fly combat missions. Instead, you were training men right. to do what you weren't allowed to do. Right, right. <laughs> I just remember some, some question to the point of, do you think women could fly in combat? And I remember answering to some effect that um, I think women can have a warrior spirit as well as men. And, and Tammy Jo, I know it's sometimes hard for women to say, I, I don't want the attention because I'm a woman. Right. But, but, but you've got to know that young women and young men and looking at you flying this airplane means a lot. Like a lot of my heroes uh, growing up were men. I don't think that's as important as somebody actually putting their head down, doing the work and getting it done so that that door is opened for the people behind you to do it. In 1993, she left the Navy and has now been flying for Southwest for 25 years. On last month's harrowing flight, First Officer Darren Ellisor, an Air Force veteran, had the controls when the engine first broke apart. But Tammy Jo took over for the landing. It was an Air Force landing, <laughs> not a typical uh, hard Navy landing. But uh, Tammy Jo, did a, she did a fantastic job, of considering the condition of the aircraft and the, um, the situation. It, it was, she made a great landing. That's one of the most complicated uh, emergencies you can have on an airplane? It was a little complicated. We kind of knew just from from the great training that we've been given, whether it was military or um, from Southwest, that uh, we just took the knowledge that we had, uh, pooled it and, and used our system knowledge as well and decided the flap setting and things and it, it worked well. Modesty aside, it was Tammy Joe's husband, Dean, a fellow Southwest pilot who had actually been scheduled for the flight. But they switched so Tammy Joe could be at her son's track meet. After everybody was off, I texted Dean and my mom and dad and, and our kids. Um, Sydney is 20 and she responded as she always would with sweet love and, and concern and then Marshall, our 18-year-old, uh, he's got his private license, so he's got the pilot sense of dry humor. And when I told him that I'd landed single engine in Philly, safe on the ground, his immediate text back was, that's why Southwest gives you two. No big uh, deal. Whatever. <laughs> Teenagers, a remarkable pilot, wife, and mother. And this morning, we also give our condolences to the family of Jennifer Reardon, another remarkable mother and wife killed in that accident. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.